Welcome to the studio at African Utility Week in Power Gen Africa. Today I'm speaking with Raymond and Chelsea who are participating in the inaugural Initiate Challenge. Thanks so much for joining us. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you, Mike. I wanted to find out from the two of you how your impression of the industry has evolved since joining the challenge uh, and, and having been at the event so to today, I mean, how are you seeing things differently, if you are at all? Chelsea, I'll start with you. Um, well, I'm from the oil and gas sector originally, actually that's, that's where my training is and um, you see a lot of um, change and development over the last couple of years in terms of moving to eco-friendly technologies and especially in oil, trying to get biofuels, things like that. And I always kind of thought that electricity was a lot more stagnate than that. It was just, we were going to stay with coal, that was how it was going to be for the rest of the world, for the rest of time. So when I um, saw this challenge come out, I was really interested to see that people were interested in new technologies, but now that I'm here, I think it's been incredible to find out that people aren't just interested in new technologies, people are doing it. There's, I mean, there is over 30, 40 billion rands worth of investment in this. I mean, I'm seeing wind, I'm seeing solar, I'm seeing all sorts of um, people from all sorts of different places in the world coming here to create more energy in Africa, which is so desperately needed to create industry. So um, I've actually been incredibly inspired by the sector. Um, and I think that it is doing incredibly well. And I think if we continue on this train, we might actually make something of a difference. Raymond, you uh, have a, a different perspective. You're not from South Africa. Could you maybe share some of your insights? I would so much love to. Well, my background is from Uganda. I was born and raised in Uganda. And that's where I did my first uh, undergraduate degree in electrical engineering. And then just recently, I moved to Kenya, Nairobi, Strathmore University, where I'm doing a master's in IT. And talking about trying to answer your question, when I had a perception of, well, the electricity sector is traditional and it's set to the tradition and the basics of the principles that have been there. And the innovation space is very much limited. But participating in the initiate challenge, first of all, looking at the problems we're given to answer, it opened up my mind that there's so many vast opportunities when it comes to innovating within the electricity sector. Yes, the structures are there. We have you know, the poles and the pylons. However, it's not about the technology. It's more than that. The socio-economic impact we've been told to, you know, to try to solve. It's more than just the technology alone. It's more than just the systems. But also the people, at the end of the day, we're looking at energy being a service and not just a product that we're giving out there. So for me, participating in the challenge has been an open-minder of it doesn't necessarily even have to be those who are those doing electrical per se, you know, to change the sector. But I mean, we, she's from, you know, a different background there. We have uh, business people, we have IT people, we have social entrepreneurs, even the, the panelists who have been addressing and the different discussions in the conferences are all from a vast area of uh, background and study. But all these come together to try to solve the problem we have within the, within the sector. So it's not a question of engineers, what are you doing? But we need to go down even to the very least person, the customer, the consumer. What do they want? What are you giving them? Are you, you know, going up there in uh, high, you know, tall buildings to discuss issues of people down this side which you have no idea about? So for us, it's been a question of going down to the least person, talking about the question of answering access to electricity. How is that person in the village? What do they need? Are you developing a solution they need or are you developing a solution you think they would need? So for me, it's a, it has been an open minder to try to open up my mind to pick from this discipline and that discipline to be able to come up with a solution that will be able to solve some of the challenges that we have. For me, that's, that's my, my, perspe my perspective. If I can ask one quick question, what is the thing that has stood out for you the most over the last two days? Do you want to go first? <laughs> um, I, I don't mind. Uh, well, one, one of the striking ideas is, as I mentioned earlier on, we've all come from all over, the, all over Africa, I should say. I mean, we have people from, uh, well, this is South Africa, but we have people from, I'm from Uganda, we have Kenyans, we have Nigerians, we have people from Lesotho, we have, well, this is a vast area of, uh, and these are only four universities, so you can imagine 
the expanse of experience and the challenges that they have from their home countries that we're bringing together to come up with one common solution. And then the second one is as we're trying to, you know, rack our brains to come up with innovative, you know, solutions, there are so many booths all over. I mean, so many companies have come to exhibit their products. If you have a challenge and you don't understand, understand a particular uh, technology, I mean, at one point in time, we had to get out of the rooms where we were discussing and just go out there and see what these guys are exhibiting. Try to explain to them what their solutions do, what, what, what do they have for the future. And for us, that has been giving us so many answers to the challenge that we're trying to tackle. So I should say participating in the challenge as well as attending the Utility Week, where we have people within the industry who are supplying us products for the industry are able to answer some of the problems or some of the things we are not exposed to and they have an experience with it. For me, that's what has been very exciting. Chelsea, from your perspective? I think the um, cross-dimensionality of, of energy has been incredibly exciting for me. I, I always thought that it would be a bunch of electrical engineers <laughs> sitting in a room yeah. discussing coal, discussing pylons, and it hasn't been that at all. Mm. We have really, we have people from the economic sector, we have people from the humanities sector, we have social scientists here. I mean, even within our own initiate group, we have people from all sorts of different, we have architects trying to work on land design and how we can um, try create electricity in a different way from land design. And when you look across the entire and um, the entire conference, that's what you see. You see piping, you see pylons, but you also see people wanting to create better solutions for people. And I think that that has really changed my opinion of what the electricity sector is, is all about. Well, I look forward to seeing your presentations and to hearing your ideas. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel now for more industry-related content.